Well, they're not as good as Georgia, but this still may be a really fun game. Welcome back to Season 1 of the South City Triceratops Walk-On Dynasty. Today, we get to take on the 1-0 Houston Cougars in Week 3. Looking at their roster, I can see several linemen here in just the top part of the screen, so I don't expect a lot of pressure to get brought to the quarterback today. Their second best player is John Johnson, an 89 overall defensive end. They also have an 88 overall running back. Let's see how good their quarterback is. He will be an 81 overall. Our last game didn't exactly go well, as Georgia completely had their way with this entire team and won 84 to nothing. However, from that loss, I actually have some really good news. We land our first ever prospect, Isaiah Sims, a two-star outside linebacker from Richmond, Texas, will come in as a 74 overall, and as of right now, obviously, he will use two of the 10 points that we have for recruiting this season. Hopefully, in today's game, we can actually manage to put together a little bit more offense, but let's get ready to jump into week three. We will get the opening kickoff, and returner Scott Mann will field it at about the five-yard line. Let's see if we can start today with a decent return. And the blocking kind of sets up, and we actually manage a return across the 30-yard line. Maybe that's a good sign for today. We come out in shotgun with quarterback Tim Willis. We'll take the snap and a quick throw over the middle. We'll find nobody. Against Georgia, we could not run the ball at all. Let's see if we can find any running room today against Houston. And no, the entire offensive line died. That brings up a third and 14. Willis from under center will drop back to pass. We'll make that throw downfield, but he overthrows the receiver and almost gets picked off. We will punt it away. Ron Harrison and the offense will start at the 30-yard line. He comes out in shotgun. Let's see what their strategy is going to be today. Harrison will take the snap. It's an option play to the outside. He pitches it to Barrett, who has the first down and will be forced out of bounds after a 16-yard run. First and 10, Harrison out of shotgun will run a draw play to Barrett right up the middle, and that is another first down play. This one a gain of 11. A three-yard run on the next play sets up a second and seven. Harrison will send a man in motion. He lines up in the tight end slot. He takes the snap, hands off to Barrett to the outside, who has some good blocking, cutting up field inside the 20 before he is finally brought down a 23-yard gain. First and 10, Harrison back in shotgun again. He'll take the snap and look to pass. He's going downfield. He finds Franz into the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. They make it 7-0. Following the touchback, we start at the 25-yard line in shotgun. We'll run a counterplay to Clark on the outside, but he loses a yard. Second and 11. Pretty much my strategy is going to have to be quick passes because we clearly can't run the ball today either. Willis will take the snap, and we're going to go over the middle, but he can't even hit the quick passes. Third and 11. Willis from under center. We'll drop back to pass again, and we'll try to go downfield, and that one's going to be intercepted. That pass was actually accurate, just there happened to be a defender there. So now a first and 10 as they start at the 27 yard line of SCU. Harrison will take the snap and look to pass. Standing in the pocket, he's gonna take off, break away from that tackle and will slide down for a gain of five. Second and five now with five minutes to go here in the first quarter. Harrison back in shotgun, Barrett is his running back. It's a quick throw to the outside and we actually force an incomplete pass. With Barrett still as his running back, Harrison will take the snap. Stand in the pocket. Now throw to the outside and actually overthrows a player. We will force a field goal. They will come out for about a 40-yard field goal try. The kick is away, and this one is good, making it 10-0. Let's see if Willis can manage to complete a pass on this drive. First and 10 from under center. We'll wait and throw this one to the outside. That'll be caught by Barnes for the first down, a gain of 13. Well, maybe we'll have some momentum to build on from there. First and 10, Willis back in shotgun. We'll take the snap. We'll throw another slant. It's caught by Barnes again, and he has another first down, a gain of 10. We're going to attempt an option play. Don't really know how well this is going to go. On first and 10, we'll give it to Clark to go up the middle, and he finds some positive yards this time. That brings up a second and five, and now a five wide set for Willis. He takes the snap and will throw to the outside, but he throws behind the receiver third down. We come out in shotgun for the third and five. Willis will take the snap and will throw it underneath, but he overthrows the tight end. And why not? Let's go for it here on fourth down. Willis from under center. We'll throw over the middle. That'll be caught by Barnes for the third time on the drive, and this time he gets another first down. An incomplete pass would bring up a second and ten. Willis will take the snap. And we're looking to throw downfield. We'll lob it downfield. Caught by King for another first down. A gain of 13. Willis back in shotgun for first down. We'll take the snap and we'll throw this one underneath. Caught by Hughes, our tight end, for another first down. Brought down inside the 15. What is this flag going to be? Are you kidding me? 
flipping on the offense. So instead of being inside the 15, we are back at the 28 yard line for a first and 12. Willis from under center. We'll drop back to pass. We'll throw this one to the outside that's caught by Barnes and he is brought down for a gain of seven. Now out in a five wide set for second and five. Willis out of shotgun. We'll take the snap. We'll go over the middle. Caught by Alvarez. Brought down inside the 10. He's still not ruled down and finally ruled down at the five. A gain of 16 on the play. A loss of a yard from our running back brings up second and goal. Now Willis is back in shotgun for it. He takes the snap and rolls out to the outside. Willis may just be able to take off inside the five and brought down inside the one. From inside the one yard line, we line up in a goal line set for third and goal. Willis will take the snap and run forward immediately into the end zone. Touchdown Triceratops. We make it 10 to 7. First and 10 as they start at the 33 yard line following the kickoff. He'll run a play action. Now go downfield. Caught by Watson for the first down. Brought down near the 50. A gain of 14. Harrison will take the snap and look to pass. He throws downfield. Got a man open. Caught by Butler. A gain of 18 into SCU territory. A minute to go here in the opening quarter. Harrison back in shotgun. We'll drop back to pass. He's going to try to run, but get tripped up on the play and finally goes down. It looks like Justin King, the safety, will get credit on that sack. Now second and 10. Harrison back in shotgun. It's a handoff to Barrett, who's hit immediately, but shoves off the man to the outside. Now using his speed and getting the first down for a 14-yard run. A couple incomplete passes later, it is now third and 10. Harrison back in shotgun. We'll look to pass here. He dumps it underneath. That's caught by Keller, and he will be brought down shy of the marker, and that should take us to the second quarter. But on fourth and one, they are going to line up to go for it. Harrison back in shotgun. Barrett is the running back. He'll take the snap and look to pass, and he throws an incomplete pass over the middle. A turnover on downs. Well, we saw the strategy that worked on the last drive. Let's see if it can work now. First and 10, Willis will take the snap. And roll out to the outside. We'll come back and throw downfield. Caught by Whitfield, and that will turn into a six-yard play. Just have to make quick, easy throws. Second and four. Willis will take the snap. We'll go to the outside. Caught by Barnes, but it's knocked out of his hands. Third and four now. Willis under center. We'll drop back to pass. We're going to throw it underneath. That's caught by Hughes, but he won't get the first down. But there is a flag down. Let's see what this is going to be. Holding on the offense, so it wouldn't have mattered anyway had we gotten it. A 26-yard punt return sets them up at the 35-yard line. Harrison back in shotgun. He'll take the snap and look to pass. A quick throw over the middle is incomplete. Now a second and 10. Harrison back in shotgun. Barrett still the running back, and they give it to Barrett to the outside. He has some good blocking in the first down, and a lot more finally tripped up and falls down to the 15. Otherwise, he was gone. He'll send his tight end in motion. Harrison from the 15-yard line will take the snap and look to pass. It's a screen to the outside, caught by Barrett. He has blockers in front of him, and he will be brought down inside the five, a gain of 14. First and goal, back in shotgun again. Harrison will take the snap, hands off to Barrett, who goes up the middle but won't get into the end zone. Second and goal, back in shotgun from now inside the one. Harrison will take the snap and look to pass. He's looking to run, actually, to the outside and walks into the end zone completely untouched, and they make it 17-7. to we would start this drive with no gain on first down. That leads to second and 10. We come out with a five wide set. Willis will take the snap and we're gonna throw this over the middle. That's caught by King for the first down and he holds onto it through contact. A gain of 14. First and 10, Willis back in shotgun again. He'll take the snap and look to pass. And we're gonna be under pressure and getting sacked on the play for a loss of 12. That's completely on me. I should not have tried to roll out there. It leads to a second and 22. Willis back in pistol. We'll take the snap and look to pass. We'll throw downfield, and that will be intercepted by Clark, and he will take it back inside the 10-yard line. First and goal from the nine. Harrison back in shotgun. Barrett is his running back. It'll be a read option, and Harrison will get brought down for a gain of two. Second and goal. Harrison comes out in shotgun now from the seven yard line. It's another read option. Harrison will keep it himself and walk into the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. Man is back to return this from the three yard line. We'll see if we can get a solid return here. And we'll try to juke to the outside that actually somehow worked a little bit and we get to the 30. We're gonna try to run the ball here on first down even though it hasn't worked at all today. A hand up to Clark and the entire O-line goes down a loss of three. You know what really sucks about the offensive line situation is I can't even find any decent ones as one or two stars, so we may have the same exact O-line next season. Second and 13, though. Back in shotgun. We'll take the snap, and we're going to throw this one to the outside for Barnes, who comes up with a catch to make it a third and one. 
We come out in shotgun for the third down. Willis will take the snap. And once again, we'll go to the outside. Barnes is wide open and is brought down in Houston territory. A gain of 19. First and 10 with three minutes to go in the half. Willis out of shotgun. We'll take the snap. And we're going to try to go deep. Never mind. We're getting sacked for a loss of 11. I saw him running wide open down the sideline. Second and 21. Willis back in shotgun. We'll take the snap. And now we're going to throw to the left side. That's caught by Daniels, who will break a tackle. And now Daniels down the sideline inside the 20 will get caught and fights his way all the way down to the 10-yard line. First and goal from the nine out of shotgun. We'll give it to Clark up the middle, and that's going nowhere. Don't know why I keep trying it. A loss of two, and now Clark is injured. And fun fact, our backup running back is actually our third string quarterback, but now it's second and goal. From the 11 yard line, Willis will take the snap and will throw it underneath. That's caught by Hill, the backup running back for a gain of six. We come out in pistol for the third down. Willis will take the snap and will throw this one to the end zone. And that is dropped by Barnes. Would have been the first passing touchdown of the series. Instead, we will send out kicker Sean Smith to try to make it 24 to 10. The kick is away and it is good. Thanks to a clipping penalty on the kickoff, they will start at their own 15-yard line. Harrison in shotgun with a minute 15 to go here in the half. He takes a snap and tries to run. He breaks that tackle and will stumble forward before getting brought down for a five-yard play. The five-yard run would cause him to burn a timeout, and then he threw an incomplete pass. So on third and five, now Harrison runs to the outside, gets the first down, and a lot more down the sideline into SCU territory, breaking tackles and finally forced out for a gain of 37. 58 seconds to play in the half now. Harrison back in shotgun. Barrett is the running back. He'll take the snap and look to pass. He's going down the right side. Caught by Butler for the first down. Brought down inside the 20. First and 10. Harrison back in shotgun. 53 seconds to go in the half. It's a read option. He'll keep it himself. He breaks one tackle and will be brought down for a five-yard run. Running the no-huddle offense. They have one timeout remaining. He runs a play action. Goes downfield. Finds Keller down inside the five. First and goal now. He'll send a man in motion. Harrison back in shotgun from the four-yard line. He'll look to pass to the end zone. Caught by Moro. Touchdown. Cougars making it 31-10. We start this drive with two incomplete passes, but now it's third and ten with 14 seconds to go here in the half. We're seeing if we can pull off the miracle. We're going to lob it downfield. That will be tipped around and fall incomplete. Following the punt, they have one second left to try to just throw it as far as they can to add to their lead. Harrison out of shotgun. Will looks a pass. Standing back in the pocket. Now throwing a Hail Mary deep downfield. And that one will be intercepted by Patterson. And we actually force a turnover. They start the second half at about the 35-yard line following the kick return. Harrison out of shotgun. Will looks a pass. And he throws to the outside. That's caught by Barrett up the sideline. And he will be brought down for a six-yard gain. That brings up a second and four for Houston now. Harrison back in shotgun. Barrett is the running back. They give it to Barrett to go to the outside. He'll break one tackle and will end up with the first down run. A six-yard gain. A three-yard gain on the next play brings up a second and seven for Houston now. Harrison back in shotgun. will take the snap and looks a pass. He lobs it to the outside. Caught by Keller for the first down. Brought down to the 35-yard line of SCU. He'll take the snap, run the play action. And now he'll throw downfield. He's got a man wide open, caught by Keller, and he's brought down inside the 15. But there is a flag down, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be a face mask, and that's exactly what it is. First angle, Harrison back in shotgun from the seven-yard line now. He'll take the snap and looks a pass. He throws downfield, caught by Barrett, brought down inside the five. Second and goal, back in shotgun again from the one-yard line. Harrison takes the snap, hands off to Simmons, and he'll walk into the end zone. Touchdown, Houston making it 38-10. We start the next drive of the 25-yard line. Willis will line up under center. We'll drop back to pass. Throw to the outside, caught by Hughes, the tight end, and he will turn that into about a nine-yard gain. Third and one, back in shotgun again. Willis will take the snap. And we'll roll out to the outside. We're going to throw back across the field. Caught by Hughes, and he gets close to the marker. It's fourth and inches. I want to keep this drive going anyway, so we come out in a goal line set to go for it. And we'll run a QB sneak right up the middle and easily get it for a gain of three. We would run for a gain of two on the next play to bring up a second and eight. Willis out of shotgun. We'll take the snap. And not seeing anyone come open, we'll finally throw downfield. That'll be caught by Hicks, who's a linebacker. Bo Hicks for a 12-yard gain. I guess everyone wants to get involved to try to help the offense. First and 10, Willis from under center. We'll drop back to pass. We're going to go downfield, and we find Hughes for the first down, who breaks a tackle. Never mind. I thought he got away, but gets a gain of 21 on the play. First and 10, back in shotgun. Willis will take the snap. 
They're going to throw a screen to the outside. It's caught by Hill. He has some blockers and ends up with an eight-yard play. We will send Hill in motion to start the next play. Take the snap and a quick throw to the outside. Caught by Mann, who will power forward for the first down. A gain of three on the play. An incomplete pass brings up second and ten. Willis out of shotgun will take the snap. And we're going to lob it over the middle. That's caught by Barnes for the first down. A gain of 12 on the play. First and goal from the four. Willis will drop back to pass to the end zone. That is caught by King. Touchdown, SCU. And we finally throw a touchdown pass in this series. Another clipping call on the kickoff sets them back at the 16-yard line. Harrison will start with a throw to the outside. Caught by Keller for the first down. Down the sideline and forced out of bounds. A gain of 20. Harrison from about the 37-yard line will look to pass. He's going to try to take off and break away from the sack. Stiff arm another guy and break a third tackle here. Get to the outside and end up with the first down. Are you kidding me? An eight-yard run on the next play brings up a second and two now for Houston. Harrison back in shotgun. Simmons is in at running back. He'll take the snap and a throw to the outside will be caught by Butler for the easy first down. With Barrett in at running back now, Harrison will take the snap, a quick throw to the outside, caught by Keller, and another first down for Houston. This one a gain of 12 yards. First and 10, with a minute, eight seconds to go here in the third quarter. Harrison will take the snap and looks at pass. He throws downfield, caught by a wide open Morrow, and he's brought down inside the 10. Never mind, brought down inside the 5, a 26-yard gain. I fully didn't expect him to break that tackle from the first defender there. Now first and goal from the 2. They come out in a goal line set. Harrison will drop back to pass a throw to the end zone. Touchdown to Carl Scott. And now they make it 45 to 17. We start at the 25 yard line. Ryan Hill is in it running back and that's where we go with it. And that is going nowhere. A loss of three. An incomplete pass then brings up a third and 13 for Willis in the offense. He'll drop back to pass. Standing in the pocket, will go downfield, caught by Hughes for the first down. That should take us into the fourth quarter. We get to begin the fourth quarter with a new set of downs. Willis back in pistol, will take the snap, and will throw this over the middle. That's caught by Daniels, and that will be a nine-yard gain. Second and one, Willis back in shotgun, will take the snap, and will throw this one to the outside. That's caught by Daniels again, but this time for the first down, a gain of three. An incomplete pass on first down brings up second and ten from about the 50. Willis from under center. We'll drop back to pass, and we're going to look for the tight end again. It's caught by Hughes, and he's got the first down for a gain of 14. Willis lines up under center on first down. He'll drop back to pass, and we're going to throw this to Barnes on the outside, but he can't come down with it. That would bring up a second and 10. Back in shotgun. We'll take the snap, and once again, not seeing anyone come open, and we'll finally just throw this one away. Now a third and 10. Back in pistol. We'll take the snap again. And we'll throw this one to the outside. It's caught by Downing, but he's going to lose two yards to bring up a fourth and 12. We are going to go for it, though. Why not? Down 45-17 out of shotgun. We'll drop back to pass. And we're going to wait and then lob it downfield. And I was hoping to get it to the receiver. Turnover on downs. I was hoping I could fit it over the top. Obviously, that could not happen. Houston comes out of the 40-yard line with five minutes to play. Harrison will take the snap and look to pass. And he's going to get sacked on the play. A loss of six here. And that sack will go to Cedric Hemphill, a defensive tackle. Now second and 16. Harrison will run a read option. He'll keep it himself, and he goes up the field for a gain of 11. Third and five. Back in shotgun again. Harrison will take the snap and looks at pass. Dancing around the pocket. Now throws to the outside. Caught by Barrett, but he won't get the first down. Fourth and inches. Man will get to field this, but never mind. He muffs it, and Houston has recovered. Are you kidding me? It bounced right off of his helmet. So we finally force a punt today, but then we muff the punt because it bounces off man's helmet and we'll take over at the 14 yard line. It's a play action. Now he throws over the middle and that is going to be intercepted by Bo Hicks who already has a reception today showing off his hands. We start this drive with a one yard loss to lead to a second and 11. Willis will take the snap and will throw to the outside caught by Barnes for the first down, a gain of 14. An incomplete pass then brings up second and 10. Willis will take the snap and looks a pass. We're going to throw this to the outside. That's caught by Wade, our fullback, who will juke out a man for the first down, a gain of 15. First and 10, Willis back in shotgun. will take the snap and looks a pass. And we're going to lob it over the middle, and that's going to be intercepted by Houston, and they will take over in SCU territory. Second and six, and what will most likely be the last play of the game, barring a touchdown here. Harrison will take the snap, hand off to Barrett up the middle, and Barrett will stiff arm a couple people, and Barrett will fight his way into the end zone just to add insult to injury. Final score will be 52-17. to 17. 
We officially fall to 0-3 on the season, but at least today we seem to have found some sort of offensive system that works. Just a lot of quick passes, mostly slant routes and comebacks. I'm not gonna lie, I know those are pretty broken in the game, but when your team is this bad, it's really the only way you can move the ball. You saw we cannot run the ball just yet. Maybe against bad teams we can do a little bit better, but against these teams that are gonna be rated in the 80s, no chance. Final stats for today, Tim Willis goes 28 for 50, 306 yards, one touchdown, but three interceptions. On the ground, yeah, we could not do anything. Negative 13 for Willis, negative six for Clark, and he got injured. We will check on that. And then also Ryan Hill got negative two rushing yards. Receiving though, Clint Barnes, eight for 94, he came up big. Manny Hughes, our tight end, six for 61. And then Jeremy King actually managed to catch a touchdown and Daniels played pretty well too, getting three for 56. Greg Johnson, our free safety, led the team in tackles in sacks. We got two, one from Cedric Hemphill and one from Justin King. And we got two interceptions as well, one from Bo Hicks and one from Paul Patterson. Ron Harrison ends up going 18 for 27, 227 yards, three touchdowns and two interceptions. On the ground, Harrison ran for 85 yards and two scores. Barrett ran for 123 in a score, and Simmons ran in for a touchdown. Receiving, I would say no one really gashed us. Chris Keller was their best one, 6 for 86, and then Morrow got a touchdown, Scott caught a touchdown, and Franz. In our next game, we get to take on Ohio in week four as we return to South City to finally have a home game again. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will talk to you next time.